Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the Lean Principles. So let's start friends. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell, up bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. First of all, we have to understand that what is Lean. Friend, Lean is basically a methodology which we use to implement the Agile. So it is based on the Agile concepts, first of all. Then uh, the main objective of Lean is that to eliminate the waste and to produce a workable software or workable application which is uh, which is suitable or acceptable for all uh, like uh, for the customer and all the stakeholder. So main focus is basically that to ease the life of developers and to produce a workable software. So this is and eliminate the waste. So there are basically uh, five principles in Lean first one is uh, define value then map the value stream then create flow then establish pull and pursue perf uh, perfection now define value friend define value means to better understand the first principle of defining customer value it is important to understand what value is value is what the customer is willing to pay for it is a paramount to discover the actual or latent needs of the customer sometimes customer may not know what they want or are unable to articulate it this is especially common when it comes to uh, products or technologies there are many techniques such as interviews surveys demographic information and web analytics that can help you uh, discover and what customer find valuable by using these qualitative and quantitative techniques, you can uncover what customers want, how they want the product or service to be delivered and the price that they afford actually. And then next one is the map the value stream. The second lean principle is identifying and mapping the value stream. In this step, the goal is to use the customer's value as a reference point and identifying all the activities that contribute to these values activities that do not add value to the end customer are considered waste the waste can be broken into two categories non valued added but necessary and a non value and unnecessary the latter is pure waste and should be eliminated while the former uh, should be reduced as much as possible by reducing and eliminating unnecessary processes or steps, you can ensure that customers are getting exactly what they want while at the same time reducing the cost of producing that product or service. Next one, uh, third one is the create flow. After removing the waste from the value stream, the following action is to ensure that the flow of the remaining steps run smoothly without interruption or delays. Some strategies for ensuring that value added activities flow smoothly include uh, breaking down steps, reconfiguring the production steps, labeling out the workload, creating cross functional departments, and training employees to be multi skilled and adoptive. Next, establish pool. Inventory is considered one of the biggest waste in any production system. The goal of a pull based system is to limit inventory and work in progress WIP items while ensuring that the requisite materials and information are available for a smooth flow of work. In other words, a pull based system allows for just in time delivery and manufacturing where products are created at the time that they are needed and in just the quantities needed. Pull based systems are always created from the needs of the end customers by following the value stream and working backwards through the production system you can ensure that the products produced will be able to satisfy the needs of the customers. Last one is the pursue perfection. Waste are prevented through the achievement of the first four steps like identify value, mapping value stream creating flow and adopting a pull stream. However, the fifth step of pursuing perfection is the most important among the all. 
It makes lean thinking and continuous process improvement a part of the organizational culture. Every employee should strive towards perfection while delivering products based on the customer needs. The customer company should be a learning organization and always find ways to get a little better each and every day. So uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends